Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Divine Advocate, July 31. See, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. Isaiah 49, 16. Satan has an accurate knowledge of the sins that he has tempted God's people to commit, and he urges accusations against them, declaring that by their sins they have forfeited divine protection and claiming that he has the right to destroy them. He pronounces them just as deserving as himself of exclusion from the favor of God. Are these, he says, the people who are to take my place in heaven and the place of the angels who united with me? They profess to obey the law of God, but have they kept its precepts? Have they not been lovers of self more than lovers of God? Have they not placed their own interests above his service? Have they not loved the things of the world? Look at the sins that have marked their lives. Behold, their selfishness, their malice, their hatred of one another. Will God banish me and my angels from his presence, and yet reward those who have been guilty of the same sins? Thou canst not do this, O Lord, in justice. Justice demands that sentence be pronounced against them. But while the followers of Christ have sinned, they have not given themselves up to be controlled by the satanic agencies. They have repented of their sins and have sought the Lord in humility and contrition, and the divine advocate pleads in their behalf. He who has been most abused by their ingratitude who knows their sin and also their penitence, declares, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan. I gave my life for these souls. They are graven upon the palms of my hands. They may have imperfections of character. They may have failed in their endeavors, but they have repented and I have forgiven and accepted them. The assaults of Satan are strong. His delusions are subtle, but the Lord's eye is upon his people. Their affliction is great. The flames of the furnace seem about to consume them. But Jesus will bring them forth as gold tried in the fire. Their earthliness will be removed, that through them the image of Christ may be perfectly revealed. Further reflection. Have I repented of my sins and surrendered my life fully to Jesus, my divine advocate? 